Welcome to the fourth lecture of Statistics for Non-Statisticians lecture series. Today, I am going to discuss about central tendency measures. I have drawn marks of five students. Five students are here, one, two, three, four, five. And marks of students, 64, 34, 40, 90 and 70. Now, you need to describe, assume that this is a small class. You need to describe the marks of your class. You can easily do that. First one has got 64, next one 34, next one 40, the best student has got 90, another student has got 70. But what will happen if there are 50 students in a class or 200 students in a batch or 10,000 students in your university, 10 million students in your country. Can we list one by one? First to one million. It is difficult. Because of that, we need to summarize data. The best measure to summarize the data is getting the central tendency. Central tendency means where is the majority? Where is the majority? Generally, majority are at center. So we can get an idea about where is the majority. To do that, we have to get average. You need to understand that average is a general term, even though we refer average for routinely described mean. Simply, there are three main measures of central tendency. You know this from your primary class mathematics. Those are mean, median and mod. You may wonder why are we discussing grade 4, grade 5 mathematics with statistic lecture series? Of course, calculation of these three is a simple task. But here we need to focus more on what are the applications of these three. For the sake of completion, let's calculate mean, median and mod. Now, we have a distribution of marks of six students. So there are six students, one, two, three, four, five, six. As there are six students, in order to get mean, we can get sigma x divided by n. Sigma x means summation of x. We add all together. 30 plus 40 plus 50 plus 50 plus 60 plus 70 divided by 6 equals 50. So the average or the mean is 50. We call that this mean as arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean. Why arithmetic? There are other types of means. There's something called geometric mean and harmonic mean, which we are going to describe in the next lecture. Next is median. In order to get median, the major important thing is we need to have these numbers in ascending or descending order. Once we place in ascending and descending order, we have to get the middle value. Here we have two middle values, 50 and 50. So we have to get the average of these two. So 50 plus 50, those are the middle values divided by 2, n equals 50. So the median is 50. What is mod? Mod is the most frequently occurring number. So what is the most frequent number here? It is 50 because 50 appeared two times in the distribution. All others appeared only once. Now, primary class is over. Next, we need to know what are the basic applications of these three. Let's see what are the applications. This is a normal distribution. I discussed a little bit about normal distribution, but I'm going to discuss about normal distribution in next few lectures. In a normal distribution, usually, mean that is arithmetic mean, median and mod 
are at the center. After plotting the variable, if we have the shape of normal distribution, the best measure of central tendency is mean. Generally, we go with mean. But what will happen if the distribution is skewed? Skewed distribution can have two shapes. This is, we call it positively or skewed to right. Or we can have skewed to this side, skewed to negative skewed or skewed to left. How do we have mean, median and mod in this type of distribution? Generally, we have mean, median and mod. Mod is at the highest frequency. We have highest frequency here, so mod is here. So we can't go from this direction. We have to go from this direction where the slope is less. So we climb up mean, median, mod. Mean, median, mod. This side also we have mean, median, mod. Mod is there where we have highest frequency. Now, what is the best measure of central tendency in a skewed distribution? Please think a while. So look at here. Mod is more towards left side here and mod is more towards right side here. Mean is more towards left side in this distribution and mean is towards right side in this distribution. But look at median. Despite the shape of the distribution, median is always at the center. So, if the distribution is a skewed one, best measure of central tendency is median. Please recall the previous lecture. I told you, in general, discrete distributions will get skewed distributions. So we measure using median. In other way around, continuous distributions are normally distributed. So we measure by mean. But keep in mind, all continuous distributions will not take the shape of normal distributions. All discrete distributions will not have the shape of skewed distribution. But in general, we can identify this because this is one of the important aspect that you need to understand at the basic level to decide the best statistical test to apply in your own research. We will meet in the next lecture.